In this movie, we'll look at a feature that has been added in response to requests from the field, and that feature is the creation of user templates. So within a Stardraw design project, we have available templates which create certain drawing types, and these available templates have certain default settings. The request was for the ability to change those default settings to something that might suit a particular user's way of working. So if we create a new block schematic drawing, we see on the right in the properties grid, these are all of the default drawing settings. And these define things like the grid size, the number of snaps, the color, and the styling of the various objects that we might create in this drawing. So at the moment, the default font is Arial, and the color is black. Perhaps I want to change this. Perhaps within my company, we use a particular font let's say Comic Sans. I really hope you don't, but Comic Sans it is. We can always change the color as well. So maybe we will have Comic Sans in blue, and this will then be my default font. We can now save this as a template. We'll add a new template, give it a name, my block schematic. And when we click here on the OK button, notice in the bottom left-hand corner here, we have some activity. The template has been uploaded to my personal account on the cloud, so it will be available on any machine that I log into. If we now go back to the project dashboard, the drawings view, we can see that there is now a new available template, and it's based on my user template, my block schematic. And when I create a new drawing, choose the text tool, Put in some text. There it is in the wonderful Comic Sans. You are free, of course, with a user template to change any of the default settings that you wish. However, we recommend that you never ever change the size of the grid or the number of snaps for the grid. This is because the symbols that you bring in from the product browser depend on an integrity, particular sizing and spacing and snapping of the grid. So if you change the grid size, you may very well find that symbols no longer sit properly within the document, and it becomes very hard to position things, line things up, and connect things neatly and tidily. If you want to remove any of your user-defined templates, again, choose File, Save as Template, delete the one that you no longer want, and when you click on OK, again there is some synchronized activity, and when we go back to the dashboard and check out the drawings view, that user template has now gone. Thank you for watching.